running wicked low on gloves. <laughs> Alex, you're back in the shed. Little update. The entire pack is now wired. Last episode, I had a few things to, to wire in, and now it's complete. I just did a bench test. Everything works. Everything functions. Did a shell test. Fits perfect. I 3D printed a couple more things, like the e-cig bracket, a little hose clamp holder here. Um, and that's all installed, ready to go. Believe it or not, I was tossing and turning all night because the wires look too messy. And when I open this up, because I want to show off the circuit board here, people are going to be like, ooh. I have to explain that I'm trying to mimic the wires in the pack today. But it was still too messy, so I moved a few things around. Um, so it's messy enough for me now. I'm happy with it. The only thing that needs to be done to this is rivet the charge plate to the motherboard. Two rivets. I already have the rivets out. I got the rivet gun out. I'm waiting for Amazon to drop off one toggle switch. So I can solder the toggle switch on and it's done. I could technically rivet it on right now, but it's going to be a pain in the ass soldering those wires. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I mean, they should be here anytime today. I'm just waiting. The big thing for today is I want to put everything on the shell. I want the shell complete today. This is actually going to be a pretty big step for me. I haven't had a proton pack for myself since I was 16. Um, I've built a few packs during that time for other people, but this is my first pack since I was 16 and this is the most accurate pack I've had in my life. So today is a very monumental day for me because I've waited a very long time for this. Let's clean this place up and get the shell over here and start putting this thing together.
So I have the GB1 ribbon cable here. This was made, I believe, by Gunther on the forums. I know he used to live in Connecticut because I debated on going down there and picking it up. But um, this was made a wicked long time ago. I don't even know if he's still around. But I swear the ribbon cable comes up like this with a sharp, sharp, sharp twist, real wicked sharp twist. It's gonna come through here like this, go through here, and down and in. You can see it on the rooftop. You can see the colors brightly here. So I don't know which side to start it on. I'm gonna take a break for a minute because there was a guy on the forum. I saw him, how he twisted his, and it, it made a lot of sense. It, he made it look wicked easy, the way he twisted it. But before I do that, I'm going to use this as a pattern and cut it, cut them. So there's really no reference of the ribbon cable in GB1. We only have this one shot with Peter on the rooftop zapping Stay Puft and it's really, really poor quality. I swear I see at least one zip tie right here. I don't know if I'm gonna add it or not. I mean, you can always take it off. <laughs>
in here is where I have all my electronics and I'm running my wires up through here. So my plan is, is I have a spare piece lamp here. I put this on here and then put it in there. And then I can cut the rest of the wire. So I can it like this. I don't even have to cut the wire. Put it in like that that to hold it. See if that will ah, work. No room in this shed. This is where this is where we're going to draw. snug, but it's going to fit, I think. I got this bag and hold when I turn it down. I think it's going to work. Can't see in there, huh? Not enough light. I bet you I could fit a wire in here and I can sculpt exactly what I want.
some rings. actually see the residue of the original sticker right there you can see here this is what the original part looks like the original tag and then they just cut it off cut the bottom off for the bumper but on the containment system I think I said ghost trap before but on the containment system in the basement the whole sticker is there Volgus was the one who found that all those years ago couldn't make out what it was but you could definitely make out it was an unmodified bumper sticker. So just for the hell of it, I think I'm gonna cut this. Oh God, I lost the, oh, there it is.
last night was another late night in the shed. Um, I exhausted all my batteries, so I got some work done that you didn't see on film. I just wanted to go over quickly what you didn't see me do on screen. So this is my finished product. It's exactly what I wanted. It's what I've envisioned all these years. Um, it's even better because of the lineage parts on it. But uh, actually, this belongs like that. I try to put everything in that orientation of the rooftop. And like I said, that, that reference is terrible. I mean, it's great that we have it because it's got some, it, I mean, it proves the bumper was flipped. But um, it's really, really bad. It's really, really rough. I wish there was like, I don't know if that's even from 4K, if that's a 4K rip. If somebody could rip it off a of 4K for me, oh, I'd send you a t-shirt. If you can rip it off 4K for me, I'll send you a t-shirt. Now I'm, I'm bribing my viewers. We did the stickers. The problem is, is you really don't know all, where all the stickers go on the superhero and forget about the thrower because in some scenes the stickers aren't there and then other scenes they are there. So I imagine they put the stickers on towards the very end of the film. Uh, right now, the thrower has stickers on it, but they're pa painted black. So at the end of the film, they must have had the stickers on there because when the packs were overhauled in GB2 and repainted, they painted over some of the stickers. Um, I don't know. My gun, I, th I, I haven't even begun to think what I'm going to do to my gun yet. So The stickers on the pack, I went with, of course, the bumper label here. Um, because in the casting, you can see the remnants of the glue. So it's dead on where that belongs. The uh, danger sticker here is down low on the PPD, which is a uh, characteristic of the superhero. The, this little danger button too is in a weird location over here. And oddly enough, what's really funny is up here is the silver sticker. Uh, the label, the sticker that they used on there, the first layer peeled off, the red peeled off, exposing the brushed aluminum underneath. So I had um, my Cricut, Cricut cut, cut the uh, aluminum vinyl for me and I put that on there. The only sticker that I'm up in the air about is the one that belongs here. There's a danger sticker here, and I have a photo of Ernie doing some promotional stuff with the pack on. You can see the red sticker, the red danger sticker. But it's so blurry, I don't know which side the danger is on. I don't know if danger is facing up, like it's re readable right now, or if it would be upside down. So, I'm trying to go over some 1984 reference and some screen grabs to try and guess uh, where it is. Uh, so I'm up in the air about where I'm going to put that just yet. So in the future I'll figure that out. Uh, the yellow sticker is where it needs to be. The, the dry rub went on real, real nice. The uh, brushed aluminum looks good. I have three sets of stickers that I've collected over the years and um, I've actually used bits and pieces from each um, vendor. So it's not just one whole set of uh, stickers. I keep saying stickers. I bet you they're going to yell at me about calling them labels. Everybody refers to them as labels. I keep calling them stickers. So the labels are mix matched from those three vendors I got them from. All right, but I rambled on enough. I just want to catch you guys up on what I did off screen and how the pack looks right now and how I'm in love with the ribbon cable. I'm in love with it. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what I was going for. I love it. I'm not touching it. So that's going to conclude this video. If you're new to the channel, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it really goes a long way. I want to thank you all for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. This is Hallowax. Out. <laughs>